this film is um, in many ways about Judaism, about things that survive over generations, about the different relationships you can have with your religion. There is a joke that is uh, so funny about basically where the hundred year old version, the great grandfather finds out that uh, Jonas Salk cured polio and his first question is who was he jewish was he jewish <laughs> yeah which is that taps into a very jewish thing which is jews are very proud of other jewish accomplishments <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's so psyched when he finds out jonas Salk is jewish and nothing evidences this probably phenomena more than the book great jews in sports which is a book every jewish person has which is a small book but <laughs> That is how much we want to know what every Jewish accomplishment in history ever was, that we will take the six great Jews in sports and make an entire book about them. <laughs> um, you, uh, you mentioned, was it from the jump? Was it the idea that you would play both characters? Was there a time that you, I mean, because it's not necessarily uh, a situation where they, you had to play both characters, but it's it's such an accomplishment both technically and as an actor because you had to take months off between doing the second half of the scenes, right? Well, no, we, we did the whole first half as Herschel and then we went back and did the whole other half as Ben. And it's not something I went into lightly and I, I actually tried to get out of it several times. We actually did a table read where Ike Barinholtz read the Herschel role at one point and he was hilarious. And I remember thinking like, oh, we got like, we don't need me to do both of them. We, we got Ike. <laughs> um, but people, uh, the other filmmakers really wanted me to play both roles and eventually I wrapped my head around uh, doing it. But yeah, it was incredibly complicated. Um, but what I did find is I do not like working with other actors, and I do prefer working with myself. <laughs> and as well, you know, yeah, uh... actors, actors are tough, and when you remove as many of them from the equation as possible, it makes things a lot easier. <laughs> Although, uh, I think I would like to provide you the opportunity, because you had a stand-in, and I imagine that was somebody who... You know, there's not going to be a lot of glory in being off camera. Uh, yes. But obviously, this was an incredibly important role in this film. Yes, Ian Poke was his name, and he he was my stand. He he played opposite me in almost every scene, and I remember telling him, like specifically, like the better job you do, the less it will seem like you exist, and <laughs> like thriving for a complete evaporation on your part um, and that that's the bullseye you're trying to hit and he really did an amazing job and it was like in some ways a very like selfless you know he was compensated but in some ways a very selfless thing for him to do was essentially act in an entire movie with the understanding he would be removed from it later and he <laughs> would and he he played both roles of whoever I wasn't playing he would play and some, and he was very, he was great. And he was very like malleable and, and would get my blocking. And sometimes I would tell him like, just don't talk. Like I'm gonna pretend you, you're, I'm, I'm hearing what you're saying as I'm thinking of it, but you just sit there and look at me. And he was like, okay, no problem. And, uh, and he was a great partner. It was, it was actually a lot of fun. And he made my performance much better, yeah. I, I, you know, I was really taken how quickly you forget it is happening at a separate time. And I imagine so much work went into that. And ultimately, like, like you were saying, like you, you have to like do all this work to make it then look invisible for the audience to sort of remember, you know, there's not to give anything away, but there's a moment later in the film where you start looking more alike. And yeah. that's when you remember, oh, this has been the same person. This whole time. <laughs> yeah, no, it was another one of those things where like the better job we did, the less it would seem like we did something. It would be like if the funnier you were, the less funny you seemed. Like, <laughs> like uh, the, the better, the more our jobs were done correctly, the less we seemed like we were achieving anything special or complicated in any way, shape or form, which was a weird goal to be chasing. But um, yeah, it, it was, uh, it was a, it was a worthy cause, I thought, if, if nothing else. Uh, you yet are also finding time for another worthy cause. I've, uh, I've seen photos of some of your uh, ceramic work yes. lately. Um, these are ashtrays. 
I make ashtrays. I make vases. I make all sorts of things. Here's a, yeah, this is an ashtray I've made. This is what I have. The ashtray, and the part that I really want to point out, that is a, a lighter holder on top, yes? Well, no, the, the, you can put your joint in there, and then you can put your uh, your lighter in oh, there. Oh, look at that. Like two little separate things. I have a few <laughs> different designs around. Um, <laughs> now, uh, do you keep those all uh, for yourself? Uh, do they stay in the family? Have you gifted them to anyone? I've given some away. Uh, I'll okay. send you a vase if you want one. That'd be very nice. Thank you. <laughs> you, you, you got one coming your way. <laughs> uh, hey, man, it's always such a pleasure to see you. Uh, congrats on the film. It's really great. And so uh, I look forward to the next time. Yeah, maybe one day the world will go back to normal. Yeah. I would like that. <laughs> that would be nice. Have a good one. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. With that.